Hi everyone, we are back with the LG R9 robot vacuum. Today we're going to be putting this machine to the test. On my floors, there's some crumbs here and there. You can see there's some chunks and there's some pieces of stuff and to make sure it can't run this over. Cats play with that, but I don't want the vacuum to suck it up. There's a few items on the carpet. You can't really see them, but let's begin. It just did one of its edge cleans. Look, you can see the dirt. Look at that. I need some more light. There we go. Get this thing out of the way. Make sure to stay out of its way. I want it to clean carpet. And I'm gonna stand here so it doesn't leave this room until the carpet has been cleaned. It's a lot of airflow for a robot back here. Vacuum, go forward. There you go. All right, I'm gonna bring it. Thankfully it has a... There we go, I don't, there we go. There we go. This is what I want it to do. I want it to clean the carpets. You can hear the brush roll going. So it must have sensed my feet and told me to move. <laughs> Listen to that though. It is overlapping its cleanings. Chout cat, you're in the way. Come you guys, can't you move? Don't want it leaving this room until the carpet is clean. Sit right here and watch it. Well, it's getting in here. Goes its edge clean. Look at that, it's actually grooming the carpets. Surprisingly enough. I like how I can guide it to where I want it to clean. Oh, it's gonna go for the cat litter pan rug. That's where I really want it to clean. Oh, never mind. It's going back this way again. There we go. It goes its edge clean again. Look at what it's cleaning. Stay back and just let it do its thing. Oh, oh. Now it's gonna do it like in cross sections.
Look at that. It's actually grooming and cleaning the carpets like a real vacuum. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Oh, come on now. Don't. I don't want it to leave this room until. There we go. So it's just going to. It must do a really thorough job because it's cleaned this area several times. And it keeps <laughs> it's going back in the corner. I'm going to manually control. The vacuum. All right, now I'm just gonna have it do its thing. Look at that, it's actually clean. All right, so it's gonna go over into this corner. So you know, I'm gonna lift up the kitty litter box. And you know, this doesn't really move very easily. Ow! <laughs> I didn't see my foot, I just ran my foot over. Whoops. Now I'm gonna instruct it to clean again. Zigzag mode. Spiral spot mode. Edge mode. Zigzag mode. I'm gonna put it in zigzag mode. Or she. Edge mode. Edge mode. Well, let's see what it can do in edge mode. I just wanted to clean this area. Oh my god, listen to that motor. It's going nuts because of all the cat litter. All right. Let's see what it does in zigzag mode. over here, get a closer view. I like how it's thoroughly cleaning. Like, look at that. I gotta get this thing out of the way before it gets to it. There we go. I love the fact that it has HEPA filtration. There's so much airflow coming out of that.
I like how it's going to town in here. I'm going to move this back to give the vacuum a little bit more cleaning space. And I'm going to move this wooden stick out of the way. Make sure it doesn't... It can't see cords. I don't know if any robot vacuum can see something that small. But it's actually grooming and cleaning the carpet. I've had like the Bissell EV675. It was inexpensive, but it didn't really vacuum very well. Picked up on hard floors, but carpets, unfortunately, not well. I love. Oh, oh, kitty. Are you cute? Now, can it get itself out of this room, is my question. Sure it can. It'll figure its way out. You can hear it, possibly. It's like it's deciding where it's gonna go. That's where I really want it to go. I'm just changing the mode to see what it's gonna do. Ooh, now it's really doing an edge clean. Look at that. It's getting close, like really close, but it's not running into the edge. Let's see, we'll clean up this piece of cat litter right here. Yes, it will. That. That was awesome. It's already cleaned in there, so it's not entering that room again. Okay. All right, so I'm just sending it to the zigzag mode again. Just grabbing some water from my fridge. Of course, the cat. I'm going to have it go over here and clean this area. don't think it's going to fit under this chair.
paper clip. I don't want it backing out of them. Once it's so it's thing. I don't want the vacuum to suck that up. That's not gonna be good for it. It appears that it actually avoided the cat toy, unless it was avoiding this dresser. Give it a little bit more space to get itself out. See, it's backing its way out. Is it gonna go on the rug? No, it's gonna take one more pass down here. It's doing the zigzag mode. So it's just gonna go back, forth, pass, and forth across the carpet and get it really, well, the hard floor so far. You can hear it. Now it's going to go onto the carpet. It's going on the rug. Just turn the motor up because of the rug. You can see it did clean pretty well. Look where all this brown stuff is from. <laughs> oh boy, here comes the cat. Cat, you're about to get crashed in too if you don't watch out. You just got that big clump of hair. You can see it completely cleaned its path. Oh, it's going back on. Well, I can see the bin again. Yeah, it needs to stop. I'm going to stop it. The bin is way too full. Now what? Well, what is it? What? Freaking weird cat. All right. Oh my, so this is the result so far. Relatively easy, it may be better with one, or sorry, while using multiple hands. This piece of hair stuck right here. Yeah, give me just a second, I need to clean the bin. Okay. figure out it's, it's it's trying to figure out where it's supposed to go all right made its way through excuse me there we go now you set to the tilt setting so it goes up and down on the joystick not joystick on my gimbal make sure that we can see what the vacuum is doing sit here right here and watch it Going to the other side.
The fact that it's actually cleaning is important. You give it a couple days of use and then I'm gonna go back over the areas that the LG went using I want it to clean this rug where I moved the chair. There we go. It's going to do it. Right there. Look at that hair. Yep, it got the hair. See what's in the bin already? Looks like a lot. There, right over the rug. Yes. And it's going to turn to the side. Back up and give it some space. My arm's getting tired. Went under the chair. I really want to thoroughly clean this rug. It's already done a pretty good job of cleaning this rug. Just want it to keep going. And it's going back under the chair again. It's going back over here down there. The motor is strong enough that it's just moving the whole chair as it goes through. Motors in the wheels is what I mean. All right, I'm going to control it myself now. So I stopped the cleaning here. The battery is getting low and I want it to draw a map of my house anyways. But you can see this is the dirt from the second cleaning. Turn my flash on. It's gotten quite a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video with the LG R9 robotic vacuum. This machine is quite fantastic. It cleans extremely well and I'll show you just the results in this room so far. Look at this. You can see it's groomed well. It's gone back and forth. It's cleaned in here. It's cleaned everywhere. And it's done a fantastic job. What is it? Oh, are you precious? Oh, that was cute. But yeah, it's done a quite good job. It's gotten pretty much everywhere. I think it missed one. Might have. Actually, no, it got right there. It missed right there, though. But overall, it's done an excellent job. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.